Hi, this is the latest version of the software for the control box. Um, the control box that uh, can move a um, focus rail or move a camera on three rails to produce X, Y and Z movements or on rotary turntables to produce pan and tilt. Uh, this particular box actually only has three outputs. Um, they can be configured to be all linear or one linear and two rotary or whatever you want. Um, the menu is driven by the rotary encoder here, currently in the stack menu. Uh, I'll just illustrate quickly the stack menu. You can select whether the rail you're going to control moves forward or reverse, which would equally be left and right for um, X motion rather than Z motion. You can say how many photos you want to take. Let's say a small number because it takes take too long otherwise. Say how far you want to go, um, how long you want the rail to settle and then how long it'll be that the camera needs to make the exposure and then the system will go away and do that you have to say accept the values and then it'll make the z stack of five photos when it's finished it'll rewind the rail tell you it's done that and then ask you if you want to reuse the values if you select yes then it'll come up with the um, choices that you made previously, so we said 5 photos, we said 530 microns, we said 410 settle time, 420 expose time, um, and it would then repeat um, the um, Z stack exactly as we did it before. But you can also just change the values a bit if you wish, just by rotating the rotary encoder as each of the values is displayed. So. That's now finished. We're not going to reuse the values. We're going to let it drop through. And we're back in the main menu. Um, jog just lets you jog the motor um, and the jog increment 78 microns. That can be changed by changing the increment setting. Nothing will change as I turn the knob, except you would see the motor move if it was connected. Um, if we go back to the main menu again, jog, rotate, we can rotate, but we have to choose an appropriate motor. So it's thrown us out and said choose a rotary motion motor, A or B, Let's choose A. Then you can rotate around that axis, either clockwise or anti-clockwise. Uh, takes us back to the main menu when we click. Um, so the one remaining option is to uh, the distance multiplier where we can choose the sensitivity per click which could be as little as one so um, each time you click in distance it will be one micron each time you click in delay one millisecond but it can be as high as 50 um, so this means that if we select 50 and we go to stack then oh, i've got to change the motor <laughs> z yes so let's go forward um, so if we choose a number of photos, five, that always goes up in ones. Uh, the distance will now go up in fifties, um, making it much quicker to set a, a longer distance. Similarly for the time, the time will now go up in fifties, 50 milliseconds at a click, and the same for exposure. And then it would go away and make this Z stack, except the values, yes. And now it'll take some time for it to complete um, that stack because we dialed in some rather longer times but there it goes it's complete and if we wanted to repeat after the rail is rewound then we just say yes we'll repeat and then it will remember each of the values that we entered and that's pretty much where we are and um, I intend to develop this further and hopefully show it with motors connected very soon. It actually works just fine. Um, obviously some things I'd like to improve.